Welcome to Technology and Education Today. I'm Richard Smith, and I'm speaking with Angela Lin, the uh, manager of YouTube EDU. Video. EDU. YouTube EDU. Okay, so I'm confused already. <laughs> it's okay. That's what I'm so, here for. Okay, unconfuse me. What is YouTube EDU? YouTube EDU is basically a collection of a thousand channels on YouTube that are focused specifically on providing high quality educational content. So you have channels from folks like Sesame Street, from TED Talks, um, from TED, the TED conferences. What, what is TED? Technology Entertainment Design is a TED conference, and oh. they have a lot of TED talks about a variety of subjects. Um, but they also have a channel that's specific to education called TED Ed. So youtube.com slash TED Ed. Okay. Um, they have animated lessons that are um, their teacher lessons. The audio is from great teachers from around the country, mm -hmm. um, and it's animated so that students can actually uh, learn both visually and orally from those lessons. But we also have content from a variety of creators some are individuals, some are institutions, some of the colleges and universities are uploading educational content. Some of the channels are from individuals like John and Hank Green who actually teach uh, biology and world history on, the, on their YouTube channel. So in general, what would you say the purpose of this is? Because I'm getting a feeling that you could turn to YouTube EDU and just get some educational entertainment or can you actually take a course? You can actually take a full course, um, but of course, to, in, to learn anything, you can't actually just have video. You actually need um, the context around the video. So I think you can think of our site as a place where you can pretty much learn anything, um, but the, uh, the, the power of video is actually enhanced by having it put in the right context. So um, it's a resource for a student, a teacher, a parent, anybody who wants to learn, and it's an additional tool as you would go to a library, a physical library, to find books that supplement your education. You can go to YouTube to find any video to supplement what you're learning. Oh, that's very modest. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm betting that sooner or later you'll be able to go to YouTube and other areas, uh, services, and, and just get your education. Because think of all the people who came to the United States and uh, had no real access to education beyond elementary school and where did they go? To the public library. <laughs> well, we we do um, we do hope that people will come to learn to think of YouTube as a place where you can learn about anything. Um, but we also are very conscious of the fact that uh, real learning happens in many different ways depending on the student, um, and that the teacher is still critical to that equation. So um, even if it's there, the engagement and the interaction is still critical um, to the learning experience. Now, some of the videos you have on there are, that I've, I've seen are, are extremely engaging and that they're not um, mom and pop. Not, not your everyday video. Yeah, not mom and pop <laughs> videos. It, it's not a technology and education today production, <laughs> let me tell you. They are not. There's some good, some really good stuff up there. Uh, how do you get them to uh, produce? Um, well, it's not, it's more of us discovering who is out there already doing oh. these great videos. Um, it's not that YouTube goes out and prescri prescriptively says we're looking for this kind of video. We actually um, are very fortunate in that we have an extremely talented community of creators, particularly on the individual level, um, that are uh, thinking very creatively about how to leverage video oh. for educational purposes. So you have channels that are um, that are re in sort, in sort of reinventing um, how uh, content is being delivered. Can anybody upload or get a channel and put educational videos up there, or is there some sort of evaluation process? Well, anybody can create a YouTube channel and start uploading videos. Now, to in order EDU. to be in order to be part of YouTube Edu, yes. in order to be part of that corpus of content, um, they actually have to nominate, or someone has to nominate that channel. If you go to YouTube.com/teachers, mm -hmm. um, there's a nomination form. So if you happen to find a channel that is not already part of YouTube Edu, you can actually nominate it, and then a team of teachers actually reviews that content to determine whether or not it is of high quality educational value. And safe. And <laughs> well, safe. I wouldn't necessarily use the word safe. <laughs> um, wouldn't want our stuff on the, on the EDU uh, channel. Um, we like to think of the, the, the threshold is whether it would be useful for a teacher um, in the context of a classroom environment. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I've been uh, speaking with Angela Lin of YouTube EDU, the manager of YouTube EDU. I'm Richard Smith. 
This is Technology and Education Today. And we are a production of the uh, Instructional Design and Technology Program of the University of Houston Clear Lake.